Hello and welcome back to Wild Sun Art Studio. My name is Robin Sun. Please do like and comment and subscribe and share this video if you like it. I would appreciate that. So this is a video all about how I like have the best life. <laughs> so um, I just sit around sometimes doing nothing but making paper chains, right? Um, which is very fun. So I was given a little chocolate that was wrapped in this very pretty, let's see if you can see this okay. Actually, let's do this. Um, this very pretty kind of rose gold uh, tin foil stuff. And it was a very, very lovely chocolate, and I enjoyed it. And then I was enjoying the tin foil, so I flattened it all out. And then I, um, I think I took, yeah, I'm pretty sure I just used my um, Scotch Create glue stick um, on some white cardstock, and then I, I spread the um, flattened tin foil on top of that and these were Champ Lake Lake Champlain I think um, I think they're out of Vermont chocolates yeah it's really good so then I had this little square about what two inches by two inches or something <gasps> oh I'm so sorry three inches by three inches maybe and um yeah so I just um had a little square of tin foil on cardstock and I cut it into little strips and then I um turned the little strips into a ring chain and you'll see that there are little lines in here some purple lines and some blue lines and that was made I went to the dollar store and I got these glitter markers by ink INC not INK ink.com um no ink registered trademark yeah it doesn't give you a lot of information about who they were but um it's just a glitter marker <laughs> So, and the insides looked very, well, boring, dull, um, because they were just plain white. So I glittered them up a little bit and then made this little chain and it's very cute and I keep playing with it in between videos. Um, so I wanted to show you that because last Friday we were making ring chains and I wanted to show you like another option we have of taking the bric-a-brac from our lives. Not that rose gold tinfoil is bric-a-brac. That's a little too pedestrian. But um, that's just pretty. And I liked it. And I wanted to sh share it with you. And then I was also thinking of other ways to make ring chains so that they look kind of highbrow and fancy and they would entertain our adult brains because this is indeed kindergarten art but we love it so then I made some one inch strips let's see if I can get my ruler down without smacking the yeah so I took a piece of cardstock this dark teal color and I um cut one inch strips. Actually, I had two pieces of cardstock. This very pale teal color and this darker teal color. So I cut it, the piece of paper widthwise, the eight and a half way or whatever the, what is it, two, ten millimeters? Um, sorry, whatever. Um, the just the width ways. This would probably work even with uh, 12 by 12 cardstock. I don't know. But 
you could make you could either cut that in half and make six inch or you can use eight and a half or a four paper the short way and just cut inches all the way down and of course with eight and a half paper you will not get an inch and what's the where's my other ruler so an inch is about oh right two and a half centimeters so you could do that you could do two centimeters probably two and a half three whatever you want it's this is not brain science this is kindergarten art so then I had a bunch of punches like this these star punches and um oh I forgot okay so I made a whole bunch I cut about um maybe three quarters of the way across you know down the short sides um of one inches and then the rest of it I cut I'm pretty sure in half an inch yeah in half an inch so that would be what like a centimeter a centimeter and a half depending on what you're cutting from an a4 cardstock um just maybe a little bit more than half or half ish um so I had a whole bunch of skinny strips like this and a whole bunch of wider strips in both colors so I cut a bunch of one inches out of the dark teal and a bunch of half inches out of the dark teal and then I cut a bunch of one inch strips out of the pale teal and a bunch of half inch strips out of the pale teal and then I took my paper punches on some of these little skinny strips so I had squares and I just angled them so it would be a diamond and circles and I had isn't this a cool punch I think you're supposed to thread ribbon through those or something and I had a star punch and a little teardrop punch that was it right because I repeated some of these and then I had those scissors let me see if I can get this out for you without spilling everything to start spilling things so you know these scissors that have well these are both stamps that's boring um, these scissors that have um, fancy edges on them where did they all go why am I having a hard time with this there it is so this one's called the Victorian these both are Fisker's paper edges but I know that other people make these um, kinds of scissors too and instead of having a flat blade you know they have let's see if I can do this for you they have a um, a decorated blade so this one they called Victorian this one stamp like the edge of a paper stamp and I took three or four uh, this scissor was called lightning bolt I think or something like that and this is the Victorian so I took the skinny strip and I just cut down the middle of the strip and every time I cut a length when let me show you this um, this is a way to make it so that um, so I had about a half an inch strip And you see the the blade the blade of the scissors isn't as long as the paper so I'm gonna have to stop and start so start off and just kind of go by eye it doesn't have to be a proper measurement 
So you see, we've got two halves. Now match up the little, um, the pattern exactly. Don't just start anywhere, but um, match up the pattern on the blade with the pattern you've already cut and keep going match it up again and it's kind of cute because it fits right in and then make sure you don't go anywhere with your um you know like you don't flip it backwards and when you give it a little space then you can really read that space pretty well you see i kind of angled instead of being straight kind of angled it a little over um i don't really know that any of that is very important this is let's face it a paper chain it's kindergarten art but um but we can highbrow it oh and this one i cut with this victorian scissor and instead of putting the two pieces this way I um, put the straight edges together with the Victorian edge out to the side and what did I do with that there it is um, so you've got a straight line down the center with the Victorian cuts on the edges so this was the stamp cut and the Victorian scissor and this one was the lightning bolt and then I think I just copied after that yeah and then I just needed one more one inch paper and I didn't have any more of the teal colors so I just put in some dark blue because we can do that. We're artists. We can just make stuff up. So I can't really show you in this video, but these rings, because they've got two layers of paper and I used just Elmer's glue, white glue, um, in my bottle that has the little tiny tip right there. Um, so I didn't get too much glue on it, but the white glue, I've noticed that it makes people, uh, sorry, paper, it makes paper a little um, harder, stronger. So we've got two layers of paper and a layer of white glue in there. And these rings are, for all that they're paper, remarkably strong. So if I made this is, I meant to measure this. So there's a foot and a half. And there's, so a little over three feet with two pieces of cardstock. Um, uh, yeah, so um, You can, if I made this much longer, like long enough to go across a room or across the lintel of a door and down the sides or something, this would um, hold up. The, the rings would stay pretty round without going all oval, which if the paper's too thin, the rings get ovally. And to my eye, that seems not quite as aesthetically pleasing. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show you, yay, all these fun things you can do with ring chains. You can make little ones like we did last week or big ones. You can make layered ones. You can use fancy candy wrappers so i just wanted to show you and encourage you to have fun and play and be vaguely ridiculous with paper because because we love trees um and and we love ourselves and 
this is what I wish for you and me and everybody that we get to love ourselves. We get to have enough quiet time making kindergarten art so that we can hear that inside ourselves we actually love each other a lot. And I'm sorry, we love ourselves a lot. And if we love ourselves a lot, then loving other people is pretty gosh darn easy. And they will love us because we will be more fun or something. So I wish you, sorry, noise, kindergarten art and self-love. And I will see you next time. Bye.